Everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you a cool feature in Scratch that uses your camera on your laptop or your PC um, and you can make a sprite do something when you make movements. So the first thing I did was I got a fly online and uploaded it into my Scratch file. So remember here is the button for new sprite and then you can upload a sprite with this little arrow um, icon. So I already did that. I made I gave it four costumes to make light, nice little changes when it gets hit. Now the first thing I want to do is when the green flag is clicked I want the fly to go to a random position and I want him to not turn and twist and everything. So I'm going to set the rotation style from left to right. Otherwise, he'll go upside down when he hits the wall. Then I'm going to point him in direction 90. So he stays the way he is right now. And I'm going to make sure he always starts with costume A. So I'm going to say switch costume to fly A. And to tell you what you have to do in the game, I'm going to type in hit me for two seconds and I'm going to add the extension for the camera. So here in the left bottom of your screen there's the add extension button. Click on that and then find video sensing. And now you can see yourself on your scratch stage. Um, to use the feature you drag the green block when video motion is greater than 10, make something do something. I'm going to make the fly go to a random position when the camera sees movement. So I'll try it out here. I'm going to wave and the flag is moving. Uh, the, the fly is moving. Now, I want to hit the fly and make something happen. So this part might be a little tricky, so you might want to pause the video after I put in the code. I'm going to go to the events. I'm going to find an if then under control. I mean, if something happens, then do something. I'm going to go to operators. And if I detect a movement bigger than 50, I want the fly to do something. I'm going to put video motion on sprite. So if I hit the fly, I want it to do something. If the video sees me doing that. And to make it a little harder, I put it on 50 so it doesn't get hit every time you move your head. Then I'm going to make a variable to keep score. So I'm going to make a variable and call it fly hit. And I'm going to change that fly hit by one to score a point after I hit the fly. Now to make it fair, I'm going to set it to zero when we click on the green flag. So we can start over. Um, then when I hit it, I also want the fly to look a little different and make a sound. So I'm going to get a sound. I already got the sound crunch in here. I'm going to play the sound crunch when I hit the fly and then I'm going to switch his costume a couple of times to make him change looks. I'm going to do switch costume to fly B. Then I'm going to wait 0.1 seconds. If I don't wait it's going to go too fast for us to see that. Then I'm going to right click on switch costume and duplicate those two blocks. And I'm going to do fly C and duplicate again. 
to fly D. And then I'm going to set him back to what he normally is, fly A. So now, when I hit him, he spins around and I score a point. Now he's getting off stage a little bit, so I'm going to add a motion block, if on edge, bounce, so that he doesn't get out of the screen. If on edge, bounce. I'm going to put it on the top actually. And after he changes everything, I want him to go to a random position again. Go to a random position. All right. So it might seem a little complicated. It seems like a lot of code, but it's actually a lot of repetition. So here, when I click the green flag, my score gets reset to zero. The fly says, hit me. I'm going to wave my hand, try to hit him. Boom. It's a little tricky. Actually, you can also turn the camera off. You can make the camera a little more transparent if you don't want to see yourself. Let's show you how that goes. So if you think like, you know, it's more fun not seeing your face or not that much, you go back to video sensing and you set the video transparency to 50. I'll put it right under here. Now, you still see yourself, right? So I'm going to set it to 95. And you can still see that you're in the stage. But you don't necessarily have to look at yourself. You can focus on the fly. It's harder to see where your hand is. So you might want to just set it back to 50. Click on that. Boom, 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 boom. Now I have seven points, but nothing really happens. So we can add something to uh, change something when you hit the fly, like say 10 times. So I'm going to say get a block um, and add that here. If Wait, I'm going to put it on there though. When flat clicked to keep a little more code in the, on the screen. I want to say if the score is 10, go back to variables. If set fly hit, no. If fly hit is 10, then do something. I'm just going to add a sound for now. Oops. I'm going to find a sound here. I'm going to choose a sound, find an effect. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for it, so I'll just take the bell. And I'm going to do that. Play sound bell. Pick any sound you want, of course. Now I'm going to hit the fly again. And after I do it 10 times, we should hear a sound. Now, if this is too hard, you can make it easier by changing that number if video motion on Sprite is bigger than 50 to a lower number. I'm also going to work on trying to add a fly squatter to my actual hand. And this didn't work. So maybe I have to put it in here. Let's try that again. You can use two hands. It's 
good exercise. You can make any game you want with his concept. My fly does not want me to hit him. There we go. And now I have 10 points. And you can, you know, add some if statements. Maybe if I hit him 12 times, he's dead or asleep or he gets his brother. Let's do that. When I hit him 10 times, I want his brother to come out. I'm going to do fly hit is 10, actually 12 times, sorry. Then we're going to add a fly. We can do this with creating a clone. Create a clone of myself. No, let's see what happens. Now I have two flies. And the clone is doing the same thing. Okay. So these are some things you can, um, these are some things you can experiment with. Oh, see, I didn't even want to hit it and I'm moving and I'm still hitting it. So we, maybe we need to make a stop button um, when I click this sprite, stop all scripts. Now I never know where to find that. Looking, 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 looking. Control. Oh, yeah. Stop all. Control. All right. So I'm going to hit him a little bit. The clone seems to have disappeared. And I'm going to mouse click my fly and it stops but until I hit it again. Anyway, that was my um, fun project for today. Play around with it. Um, I'll put it on the studio as well in the Bite Size Scratch Studio so you can copy and remix. and. Let me know what kind of cool games you create with the camera feature. See you next time. Bye.